was not racism, ladies and gentlemen. If that's the rant that they're talking about, that was they not say racism. Not, that's not racism. And when you, everybody gets all up in arms over stuff like that, it waters down the legitimate oh. racism that is happening in America all over the place. Okay, we don't have to make up stuff. All right. Let's we'll stay back. Four seven. All right. Yes, DJ Andrew. We got rumors coming up. Yes, who just got freed? I tell you, who just got a little taste of freedom right now? Take that. Mm -hmm. Just rub it on the inside of your cheek. But now he has your gum area. Also, Birdman responds to the rumors of the Little Wayne shooting and his involvement with that. And mm -hmm. you, sir, yep. told you about his free time. But he's got a little. Okay. Now we're going to come back. Hey Dennis, hey. will you bring me some uh, tape? Let's uh, 
since I got your information here, uh, and you go by Ruben, I've been here yes, Ruben, Ruben, I won't call you Bill or William. Or anything yeah. like that. I'm Tex Sullivan, Sergeant Corsi. Uh, we're here to find out what's what's going on in this case, yeah. okay, and to get uh, back home. Um, Obviously, you know, we're talking to everybody and the detectives and maybe they talked to you at first, uh, mm -hmm. got there as well. I want you to just go through the story with us. No problem. Um, probably let's just start from yesterday. Um, yeah, if we can. Good. You can start whatever time you want to yesterday and, um, you know, and we'll fill in the blanks there with our questions. Okay. Yeah. Well, I would start with yesterday, like what? Um, waking up. Woke up. Um, this is, that'll be Thursday, so we'll say. Thursday. I think I initially woke up at about nine. Um, woke up at about nine. I'm trying to think what else. Was that there? She was asleep. The baby. The both kids were asleep. Um, I think I went back upstairs. Roughly ten ish. Went back to sleep. Um, I think a friend stopped by at around eleven. Whose friend? Brittany, my friend. Oh, well, me and both. At She's 11? At about 11. Um, she was trying to sell her car. I told her, let me take a look at it. We went outside. Um, well, we hung out inside for a while. Went outside, got in the car, drove it around real quick, came back, and uh, that was pretty much that. I think she, uh, she was trying to get me away the whole time. I told her no because you know, she gets kind of pissed mm -hmm. getting woke up too early. Or the night, night before, yeah. or yesterday as well. Yeah, it's night. about the same hours, or yeah. Okay. So when I um, when I finally did uh, wake her up, it was two o'clock ish. No, well, it might have been one thirty because I think they went to Family Dollar. They all got in the car, went to Family Dollar, and who's they? Um, Brittany, and her son Zane, and the two kids. So they all went to Family Dollar. Um, came back. She might have hung out another 30 minutes. And what time was that? Uh, I'll say about 2.30, 2.45. Me and her doze back off and uh, woke back up at about 5 or about 5.30, I think. Not the best schedule, but I mean, I'm just tired. So when did you go to sleep? The they night went before? Yeah, we're talking about this family dollar trip. And oh, the family dollar. So when they got back, we probably went to sleep right around 2.45, 3 o'clock. Woke up at about 5.30. Real quick, what are your two cell numbers again? What's the one I'm charging? 904 945-0810. Uh, 945-0810. Who's that through? That's AT&T. 0810. The one right there. Uh, it's it's, four. I believe six five one thirty one oh five. Thirty one oh five? Yep. That's T Mobile. Who do you bank with? Uh Bank of America. Checking and savings. Yeah. And ATM. What was that? And an ATM. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. Right. So we're at 5 o'clock. Y'all wake back up. Um, about 5 30, we'll back up. Uh, <laughs> I believe she was kind of brushing to get to work the next day, but she went down there, cooked. Um, so what time is she going to work? She was going to go in before 7, but me and her went back upstairs, hung out, did some things, and uh, left before, I'm trying to think, she left by 8.30 to go to work. This is today? Today. So between 5.30 and 8.30? Yeah. Um, she went back to the store to, um, she forgot some Alfredo or something. She was making shrimp. Oh, for real. Did she oh. take the kids or did she? No, she left. Okay. So can she just show up at work whenever? Or she it have a schedule? Yeah, it's supposed to be a set time. If you get in there later than a certain time, they um, give you a higher bar fee or whatnot. Range from zero to 
think 30, depending on what times you get there. Until 8.30. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I dropped her off. By yourself? Uh, just me, yeah. Or me and the kids. Then we swung by. Then we went straight from there. We went to McDonald's. Just grabbed some peach pies and a sweet tea. That was it. Got back to the house. And they just Which McDonald's you get to? Um, one on University. Right in, um, in between St. Augustine and Powers. Got what? Got pies and lots. Sweet tea. Just four peach pies and sweet tea. Not much, but we had already eaten dinner. Okay. All right. We got back to the house and um, <clears throat> they just watched movies. They gave him a bath, um, dozed off a little bit, and pretty much got back up. Ready Good. They had to slow down. Okay. Oh. Watch movies. Gave bath. Bath. You know about what time? Um, If we got back about nine, maybe nine thirty. Okay. Um, she didn't take one yet. She was still watching um, Rugrats or something. Watching TV. Yeah. Uh, cartoons. Yeah. Um, and I pretty much stayed upstairs, dozed off a little bit. When I headed back out, it was close to 12, 40, 1 o'clock, somewhere around that. Headed back out at approximately midnight to when? I'd say about 12.45. Where'd you head to? Uh, went to the gas station, got some gas. Which gas station? Um, Bay Meadows, the kangaroo. It's 12.45 this morning, a.m.? Uh, yeah. Just got eight bucks, pump number one. Did you go inside, two. pay cash? Yeah. Or was, did you actually go inside or was it a window? I went, I went inside. Okay. 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 Um, from there it was... Were you, were you by yourself then? No, I had the kids with me. I know that doesn't sound too good leaving that car on, but we've been doing it for the past like month and a half. Hey, there's nobody perfect in this room. Yeah. Okay. But we've, um, if we turn it off, it's bound to not start up. Okay. And we got to always pop it, and with it raining and everything, I just left that thing on. Okay. But, um, left the car running then? Yeah. But if, yeah, if we stop it, it'll pretty much, I mean, if we turn it off, it pretty much won't start up. So this is you had an orange up. Honda then, right? Yeah. Okay. And we got a little jump start in the car, but uh, like I said, was it raining? Not getting out there. Okay. Um, what was it? I left. Was going to the. I was going to the. Um, what was it? To the laundry mat. I think I forgot the laundry detergent. Stopped by the house. You know, hung out for a little bit. Re tried to recharge the um, AC because that thing just it runs out and it gets real foggy. And um, I guess headed back out about. Probably one thirty. So Went you was the, heading to the from the gas station, just going to the laundry to mat, mat. Yeah. and you've got the detergent. The detergent. Which which laundry mat? Um, someone Powers in Toledo. Did you make it there and then say crap? No, I forgot I went that. back to the went back to the house. Okay, went back to the house. Okay. Um, what was it? Got that stuff. By the time I went and actually dropped the load off, it was close to 1.30, 1.45. So you went back to the house, got detergent, went back, put a load in? Put a load in, um, went back to the house, and that's when all this happened. Did you leave laundry there? Was you going to go and cut 
I was going to get her and coming back and drawing it. It was close to two because by the time I got back to the house, I had a friend messaging me on a messenger mm. and trying to see what was up. And I remember seeing hers said 207. And then I, that was when I went upstairs, um, coming in after. I told her to watch you do that, whatever. Her had put on Aladdin for her to watch that upstairs and was telling Danny to just watch her. And uh, me and I'm going to. Get Lona. Did you talk to Danny? Um, I had tapped on his door and I was doing all that stuff and I could just hear the car. I ran downstairs and the thing was gone. And I tried to run up the street to see. It was going to the left and by the time I got to the front, I didn't see it. Which way was the car facing in the apartment complex? It, it was fa it was parked facing the apartment. Yeah. Facing Pulled straight the apartment. in. Pulled straight in. What was the reason you went back in? I don't remember. Went back right to the house. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, you were at the laundromat, then you went back to the house. I right? went back to the house, yeah. What did you go back to the house for? Uh, to get some stuff. What'd you go to get? Some stuff. Which is what? I mean, if you're going to be yeah, honest, now's the time cocaine. to be honest. Some what? Cocaine. Okay. So you went back to get cocaine? Something like that. Powder or crack? No, not crack. Powder. All right. For who? wake up. Alright, so what time was this? I was and look, I, I don't care about your drug use. I really don't. Uh, what were to, I just never want to say that. So you left laundry. You left it there. 207, went inside. She came inside. I put the um, Did you do a line? The phone was already, no. The phone was already or the TV was already on. I had a movie and so I heard it put it on a ladder and I was going to tell him to go ahead and watch her. And um, as I said, went out, ran up the street, and that car was gone. But you didn't do the coke? No, I didn't do it. Is it still there? No. You got rid of it? Yeah. When did you get rid of it? Um, as I was on the phone. What'd you do with it? I just flushed it. So you called, I called, at what point did you call the police? Once I got up to the front, I didn't see the car. I'm coming back, I was trying to call. I got on there, I told him his car was stolen, it clicked off. Mm -hmm. Ran back to the house, charged it up, got on the other phone, called him for now. So as the my regular phone was charging up, um, she was calling in. I just told her I didn't want to alarm her. I just told her to get a ride. And um, that was that. I mean, she kept asking me what's going on. I was like, oh, just get a, get a ride. And as I'm on the phone with the, um, the operator telling him something, she was, uh, what was it? She was trying to talk to me. He kept saying what, you know, and. She was trying, trying to talk to you? She was, she was trying to talk to me too. No, she was on the other phone. She was on my regular phone and I was on the, the phone with the 911 operator. Okay. Do you know where the car was found? No, he didn't tell me. He said a couple blocks up the street. How familiar are you with that area? Um, are you from Jacksonville? Live, no, I'm from California. No, I'm not saying California, but I've, I've bounced around the military. How long did you, you were in the military? My dad was. How long have you lived here? Here since, off and on since 2003. Okay. Mm -hmm. I used to live on the other side of um, Bay Meadows, on, and that's pretty much the only area I've actually stayed on. Do you have any friends in that area? Where? In the area that you live in? Yeah. Where do they live? Uh, people bounce around so much. I got a friend. Slim or Dennis, he lives around there. Where's he live? I'm not sure. I mean, I've never been to his house. He's been to mine. And uh, his cousin was actually at my house last night. She was. I didn't know she was down there. I told me. I told her if she would have told me, I would have at least went down and talked to her, said hi or whatnot. But Where do you, who do you buy your dope from? 
You can give me a nickname. I don't need his real name. I don't really care. But who do you buy it from? Oh, man. I will say it. <laughs> You go to the club. Who, who do you buy it from normally? I'll go to the club and somebody might have it. What club? I mean, any club. I mean, you go to Wacker. Well, I've been doing this 20 years and so has he. Yeah. I know you got a hookup. I mean, I don't, I don't get it like that. Every now and then when I use it. Do you buy it from anyone around that area? No, I don't. I don't know anybody. Does anyone, do they bring it to your house or do you go get it? I'll go to the club and get it or I might go to the club and get it. You understand? where we are right now right Trust me, and what we're what we're trying to do if you're untruthful about I'm one thing i'm being 100 percent that, true that makes you untruthful about everything so i need last, you to be 100 percent truthful, even that, about your drug use yes. like listen to me mm -hmm. i don't give a shit the if you store cocaine got, if you freebase if you smoke crack if you shoot heroin i don't care got, she brought it back listen from to the me. club the night he before. doesn't care mm -hmm. we're not the dope police i'm not here to put you in jail for doing cocaine i don't care what we want, what we care about, is finding the baby. The last stuff she got, she got it from the club the night before. And that's the stuff you were using. Yeah. But you don't have a regular hookup. No. In I'm the not. area, you can't call someone and say, "Hey, I need a bump." I don't do it like that. Well, that's what everybody says. I but really they all don't. do. That's true. I really don't. So there's no one you call. There's people I I can <laughs> I can call and <laughs> get something. You was there. I mean, Ruben. Up until that, man, you're you're, you're you had flow, man. You, you, I understand, but but when we start talking about well, something that gets uncomfortable, yeah, man. I mean, and it doesn't flow. It's before, man. I, I couldn't keep up with you because you're the truth was just flowing out. We get to this part, man. All of a sudden, you're like the phone that is charging. Uh, were you using that throughout the day? Yeah, texting and talking. Yeah, right up until it died. Yeah. Did you call anyone from the laundromat? Text anyone from the laundromat? No. I was in and out. Does that phone have GPS? Yeah. Okay. So we'll be able to... It's going to tell us where you were, yeah. basically. Is there anything that you are that you may have forgotten that is going to tell us where you are? Nothing. Can you walk us through the routes that you drove, line it up with your GPS on that phone? Straight up and down. And that's it. You didn't deviate at all from that. You didn't go into any neighborhoods. Didn't stop anyone's no, house. Nobody's house. No nothing. What's the uh, route you used to go to and from Wankos? Um, sometimes we go straight down. Old Kings, the Powers. On the, uh, go straight through that light and come out the backside um, where you'll end up where Centerfold is mm -hmm. and then just take you know, um, Phillips or sometimes we we'll just go over the bridge and go left on Phillips or go on 95. It's just three different routes but that that time we took uh, I believe we took 95. So you take there, her to work? Yeah, dropped her off at work and then came back the same route. To 95 to Emerson? Yep, and then went straight over there to McDonald's. So I'm, I'm, he was getting ahead of me, but uh, I want to go back to the laundromat. Yeah. Okay, so you, you put a load in. Just do one. You, do, do do one you didn't have uh, on not the try on me. On I still got a shitload of change in my pocket. Mm -hmm. I was mad because that's all I had on me. Did I used you? Uh, eight bucks at the okay. gas station. Let me, let me ask these, okay? Mm -hmm. um, did you get anything in the dryer? I didn't get anything. I okay, dropped so it's everything all in the wash. Okay, in the wash. That was it. All right. So at one point, you said, I'm going to leave because I need to go get me a pick-me-up. Honestly, man. I went from there, dropped the load off. I think I used the bathroom real quick in there, got back in the car. I had a friend texting me, whatever. I told her I was doing laundry, this and that. Went right back to the house. And I was gonna do something. I didn't do anything, but like I said, it was just 
I couldn't have been in there more than two men. In the house? There was no way I was in there longer than two men. But you left the car running when you I always it. leave it. That thing, I'm telling you, when it's raining, you don't want to be out there. I, 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 I know that, but I mean... <clears throat> I understand the gas part. I understand you can see it mm. and all that stuff. But if you leave kids in there in a car running for more than more than 10 seconds, that's unreasonable. I no, ran. you ran, but you're, you said couldn't have been more than two minutes. It could not have been because I went in there. Next thing you know, she came in. She two minutes she is, you mean, I don't want to sit here in time, and two minutes is a lifetime, man. It is a long time, and I regret even leaving it like that, but we've left it like that countless times just because of that problem. You heard anything about the car? No, he just told me that you guys found it, it was still running, he didn't tell me where. And that was that. Obviously he's not in the car. Yeah. Um, still in the <coughs> car. Um, in a seat or car seat or not? She's in the front seat. Yeah. Plain? Plain. Yeah. So, so you get out of the car, you unlock the door, right? Or do you lock it? Is it already? Unlock it. You go upstairs, mm. you unlock your uh, bedroom door? My door. Go in there. Yeah. She was coming up. She was coming up. I uh, went, talked to her, told her, why'd she get out of the car? Went downstairs to talk to her? I met her on the stairs. Okay. And she said she was uh, scared. Okay. And then? Reasonable. Hurry up, turned on Aladdin, went to go tell him what was up, just to watch her. Mm -hmm. Does it all the time. And like I said, the car was gone. Go, you turn on Aladdin. May I ask this? Why, why would you turn on Aladdin if you were going to be leaving? For her. She was staying there. Where were you going to do the cocaine at? I'll take it with me. I mean, it don't matter. But she, that's what she You're just going to go up and grab whatever it was packaged in and leave? She's been stuck on that, okay. yeah. And that was then it. why would you... I mean, I was... I would think if you're going to do it there, you turn on TV to keep her occupied. But no, she was staying there. That's why. But well, you don't, you don't leave her there. I always, he's there. Danny's there, and I was telling him that he, she's there, and then we were leaving again. How are you going to make it in time to get what's her name, Lana? From it was two something. She was just texting me, just texting me, talking about uh, what's up. Where you at? Two oh, seven. Two oh seven. No, but why? I mean, you're by your by your timeline. Hmm. Well, you look at that. What's your social? I mean, the time. Well, look, look, this, 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 this. Okay. by your timeline, what time does she get off work normally? Two ish. The club closes at two. That's not what I ask. What time does she normally get off? When she leaves, is about two fifteen, two okay. twenty. All right. Look. You're getting gas at 12.45, midnight to 12.45. Yeah. Um, and then you're going to do a load of laundry? We always do that. It's so just you put a load of laundry and go pick her up, come back with the laundry? I mean, yeah. I mean, normally we'll go at 2, 3 in the morning. 
Well, I understand that. Our if it's all of y'all. Well, our schedule is just different. It's Honestly, it's fucked up right now. Well, that, that, that's fucked up because, I mean, if you're going to put it, even if you get there by one, I mean, you don't have a chance to do the laundry to go get her in time. The, the laundry goes for 25, 30 minutes. You go and get her, she's right Dude, up the street. That's pushing it then still. No, I just put one in. I go and get her and then come back and drive. Did the kids go into the laundry mat with you or they stay in the no, car? in the car. Both of them? Yeah. Car running then? Car was running. Car is always running. We'll go to Win Dixie and leave it running because we don't want the hassle of having to try to jump it. Sometimes it'll jump, sometimes it won't. And that's been going on for about two months. Do you know where Conga Street is and all that? No. Does your complex have a swimming pool? Mm, I don't think so. I think that thing is out, out of commission. I mean, it's a swimming pool there, but it's not open. Okay. I've been there a year and a half, and the first time I walked by it was the other day with a we went up there to pay the rent, dropped that in the drop box, and seen it for the first time. So you ran up to Old Kings Road and you saw your car going to the left? I, I was going up the complex. I might have been maybe by the mailbox, maybe a little bit further than that, and I seen it going to the left. And did you ever see it go any other way? I never seen anything else. Was he in the car seat? Was he strapped in the car seat? No. You sure? He can't get out of it. He can't unstrap himself? I mean, he's done it. I mean, he was asleep. He was asleep? He was asleep. So. Has he ever unstrapped himself before? He has before. He has? He has. Have you seen him do it? Because I asked his mom. His I mom said that he's never seen. unstrapped himself. I know he's got now, or maybe that might have been with a seat belt. I remember him doing it. But I, honestly, my mom with that, I've only known him about three or four months. But I'm pretty sure I've seen him get out of something. Was he asleep at the laundromat? He was asleep. When did he fall asleep? Probably right around when we got to the gas station. And that was what? It was like 12. How many of those pies did you buy? Four. And there was three of y'all? There's three of us. I mean, I ate two of them. You I know did he eat one? She doesn't like them. He really wasn't eating anything. When was the last time he ate? Maybe earlier. Well, oh. I'm assuming earlier he ate at some point. Yeah. What time? I'm trying to narrow down what time you fed him last. Uh, I tried to feed him when we all ate that chicken Alfredo he didn't want to eat. So we gave him his milk bottle again. Is that so what he normally eats is milk? No, well, he's he two years old, eats he eats food. Food. Yeah, right? he normally eats food. But I tried to feed him uh, the chicken Alfredo. She tried to feed him some. Mm -hmm. He didn't eat it. So he just gave him his bottle, let him lay down there and watch TV with her. And I so the last time she, you remember him eating was morning time? I, I mean, I can't say that. I think he was up about 2 something eating. 2 p.m.? Yeah. Do you know what he ate? No, I'm not sure. So from 2 p.m. to 2 a.m., he had nothing to eat? I couldn't tell you that. I mean, because she's had a majority of the time. Well, she left at 8, right? Yeah. But y'all were together the whole time? We were together the whole time. But you don't know if he ate? I don't know if he ate. I mean, it's upstairs, downstairs, so I'm not watching when, her every move. Or when y'all were room. sleeping, did, were they sleeping too, or where were the kids out there? They were right there in the room. That's, were they sleeping or in the room awake? He slept in the bed with us last night. Um, she slept on the right by the foot of the bed. Uh, I think he ended up sleeping in there with us midday also. When did you get served this paperwork from? Earlier today. The guy came, came down. I seen him in like a white Yaris or something. 
It says uh, 5.25 p.m. It was served. That's about right. You said from you woke up at five thirty. I said about five thirty. I'm I'm not sure. I don't yeah, look at the clock at the exact time. Well if he started this at five twenty five, then he had to have been there a little bit earlier too. He was knocking on the door, he kept saying somebody was knocking on the door, said, Don't worry about it, just like before. Her mom came one time and she was talking through the door and we told her about that. Don't do it. Cause she if somebody can put, the door. if somebody can tell me that you're there at the time, tell me stuff like that. Because when I get something that says I can follow who follow up with this process server who says mm -hmm. they saw you, or I'm gonna have to talk to this process server mm -hmm. to see did they come in the house? Did they I came to the door, came down the stairs. I told her to go back up the stairs. Okay. I talked to him, looked over the paperwork. He told me exactly what it was. Then he tried to have me sign his paperwork. I looked at the date, it says 7-13, um, um, July 13, 2015. I told him what's up with that. He said, oh, that's just for mine. So I made sure I wrote 7-23-15. Mm -hmm. I signed it, I went back upstairs. How do you pay your AT&T bill? Um, do you pay online, online. do you pay online usually? So you have an AT&T account? No, I just, I just, well, yeah, I mean, when you get the phone, you just get on that. Do you know the, oh, you pay it from the phone? I'll pay it from my phone. Do you have a online password? Yeah. Can you tell me what that is? Uh, 8024. 8024? Yeah. And you still don't have a problem with me going into your phone, looking at the GPS stuff. Look at it. Okay. Were the headlights on the car when you went inside? I don't believe so. Was, was, what's the five-year-old's name? In a booster seat? No. Where was she sitting? In the passenger seat. Up front? Yeah. When you got out, did you tell her to stay there? Um, yeah. But she didn't? No. So she, she came in. Came in with my phone. She came in with your phone? With my phone. Because she had been playing on it. What was she playing? Um, Tomcat, or whatever that is. It's like a Tom 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 Cat Tom. Tom. Yeah. Um, that and Angry Birds. What if, what if you had, what if you had a chance to tell Lana what happened? What have I told her? Yeah. I what did you tell her what the story was? I just told her exactly that. Went upstairs, she ended up coming in. When I went out, the car was gone. Make sure I'm clear. Yeah. Went to the laundry with you. Yeah. She stayed in the car. Yeah. So did Aaron. Yeah. Then y'all went back to the apartment. Went back to the apartment. Stayed in the car. Yeah. You went inside. Yeah. She followed behind you. She came in there when I was brought upstairs. And how long were you inside? What'd you guess? The TV was on. I got a hard drive connected, and I just switched over from the disc to the hard drive, put on Aladdin, which is bright alphabetically mm -hmm. at the top, switched it over, went to go tap on his door, and it was taken off like that. 60 seconds? Ish. Yeah. from it.
you said clothes are still there? Clothes still. Which one are they in? Um, if you look at the laundromat, you got one door, you got two doors. If you go on this left door, mm -hmm. it's the biggest washer that you can find. Okay. What like kind of clothes are in it? Um, all our clothes, except for her dance clothes because she washed them the night before. So it's, can you tell me anything specific that's in there that we can uh, look for to make sure it's yours? Man. Some, it's kind of hard. I can't think of any shirts because I think I washed them all the time before. It's, um, I mean, where's the laundromat? It's, it's, on, it's right there on Powers in Toledo. I mean, At you can't, Powers in Toledo? Yeah, Powers in Toledo. You can't be mistaken. It's obviously it's dry or it's done by now, but it's the only one that's like a huge um, washer for like $7 and something. It's, it's the biggest washer? The biggest washer, and it's facing the, it's the only one facing the door. So if I was at that left side door, I could look at it and see if it's done or not. Okay. It's the only one facing that way. Okay.
car you drive mm -hmm. by, he's seen it before. If I understand it, it stands out, right? Yeah. You can't miss it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to show you a map on my phone. Mm -hmm. That little area right there, that's your apartment complex, right? It is, take my word for it. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. In the circle. Right there. Yeah. That's the apartment pool. Mm. All right. If I scroll out, right in here, along this road, I had two different people mm. tell detectives that they saw your car over there yesterday. They saw my car up there yesterday. That bright orange car. <clears throat> it's no way. No. I mean, yesterday, I'm trying to think what we did, but... I'm just telling you what they said. They, I, I'm pretty sure people see my car all the time, but... Well, they said it was parked over there. Parked, parked, over parked Two different people said Where that. it's about 100 feet from where it's at right now. It's no way. Well, if there is a way, I mean, don't... Don't get the way out of your head because trust me i know where my car has been okay i just hold on let's do before mm -hmm. you get defensive you're gonna get me defensive mm -hmm. thing is you got two people that don't have a damn dog in the hunt uh -huh. okay they see an orange car yesterday and then now all of a sudden the police are around the same orange car that's back mm -hmm. in their neighborhood yeah. they don't know what the hell's going on yeah okay this car here's a picture of it this is where it is it's parked it ain't dumped it ain't run up it ain't hidden uh -huh. it's just parked it's parked yeah. so don't get defensive with us. We're trying to make heads or tails with it. I can just tell you this. Those people saw that car yesterday. They might there's, have seen it, but I guarantee they didn't see it over there. There's two different people and from two different residences no, saying that... Was Wednesday. Yesterday was Thursday. Thursday. So, I mean, you know, just... We've got to clear that up. Yesterday was Thursday. You're talking about not today. Today, what is today? Friday. Friday. Yeah. So as of when's the last Thursday, time you've been in that area? I sure as hell wasn't. Okay. There. Well then, no wait, time. okay. Then that's yeah, that. I was, no, I hold on, hold on. When, when's that's your a, car that's a cut through neighborhood? It <laughs> takes you over to San Jose. Yeah. Y'all never cut through there. Because that's we the way cut, I came to your apartment. I passed we, by that road going hit to your San apartment. San Jose before, yeah. Well, I'm sure you've, you've that's not what I asked. Been, I'm not asking I've if you've driven over Santa Park. Though. And as of yesterday, I guarantee you, because I told you the timeline where we were at, I told you who came over when I woke up, which was Brittany, woke me up. I'm at the door. I went with her, drove her car around just to see. She told me 750 was what she wanted. The, the least she'd take was 700 At that point, went back to the house, and I was in her car. Went back to the house, got up. She tried to get in the car. The car wouldn't start. Brittany took her to Family Dollar with all the kids, mm -hmm. came back. We went to sleep. It was no way. I guarantee you. And those people, if they if they told you that shit is, is bullshit and it's a lie, it's no fucking way that thing was there. We were asleep. Who, who the fuck took it? And they just brought it back to the house. Let me ask this. Do you know, have you, did, when you were with her mm -hmm. after the, you got this reported and stuff, does she know that you came home to do cocaine or grab cocaine? Have you told her that? She, I told her that I ended up flushing stuff. Does she do it? She does it occasionally. We both do it occasionally. So, I mean, tonight, though, after the police are there, did you say, hey, I came over to get some stuff? But I told her I was at the house. <coughs> and I told her, <coughs> as I was on the phone with you, I said I was on the phone with the um, 911 operator. Mm -hmm. He told me uh, what was up. Cops were on their way, whatever. I heard a knock at the door as I'm sitting there at my desk and I thought about it. I'm like, man, flushed it. I said, I didn't want this just around. And that was it. That was cocaine. I guarantee you what you're talking about, what's important is my car being parked over here. It was never parked over here. I know what this is. Anything's important. Anything I ask about this is important. <laughs> do y'all always do laundry at that time? I told you we got a fucked up schedule. Right? Not, We've not, been, hold on, Ruben, listen. Quit diverting the If you look at that answer laundry. Answer my question. Is that the time y'all always do your laundry? We normally do. Okay. So if anybody yeah. says that, it's telling me a lie? It's, it's not out of the ordinary. I went there with all the kids. Okay. They've seen me with my three kids and her two. Do you normally and do laundry by yourself? I normally do. I'll normally have the kids. No, but I mean without her. 
Well, she did hers yesterday, mm-hmm. and I just did the rest of them today. Wait, yesterday. Wait, yesterday now. Excuse me. Thursday. Thursday. When she did hers so she Wednesday. She did hers Wednesday. Right. Okay. I did ours Thursday night, Friday. Ours night. or yours, right? Ours. The rest of the ones that was in there. She did her dance clothes, and I seen some of her jeans in there. Okay. That she did it Wednesday. I did the rest of whatever was in that. The did huge you tell her basket. tonight that you went and did laundry? Um, I told yeah. I told her I left the laundry mat, went back to the house, and I told her exactly what happened. So you told her that. Yeah, I told her I le- yeah I left the laundromat whatever. That's right. But I guarantee you that car was not part of it. That car stick out sore thumb is not even looking close to that. Asleep that were not there. When you put him in the car seat. Um. He, well, he was up. When I got to the when we got to the gas station, I noticed he was asleep. But he was awake when you put him in the seat? Yeah. Did he walk to the car or did you carry him to the I car? I carried him to the car. And I'm 100%. I'll bet my life on that. They never seen that car over there yesterday. Right, so you walked. What time did you get to the gas station again? <coughs> 12 30 12 45 and you went there from the apartment or from McDonald's from the apartment you left the apartment to go get gas I left the apartment to get gas and then you went back to the apartment I went back to the apartment well, don't you normally get gas when you're going somewhere and I was going to the laundry now I came back to the house because I forgot the laundry detergent So you took the laundry with you, went to the gas Laundry's station. been in the trunk, yeah. How long had it been in the trunk? I had just put it down there as I was about to leave. said they saw your car parked there or lying. I was, or I was right there with the whole time. So there's why would it be parked there? I have no idea. Exactly. You don't know anyone there? I don't know in that neighborhood. No. Nope. It would not be parked there. Especially not you're talking about Thursday? It was not there. We were in the house. I, I just told you that pattern. It was a long Has it ever been from, there? Has it ever been parked on that street? No. Since you've owned it? No. Phone's definitely not going to show you on that street then. Not at all. Because your phone was in your car, correct? Because she was playing with it. She was. She was playing with it. Yeah. with her 
grandmother or her aunt. Well, I'm not sure which one. One of them. Calling somebody. Alright, so that's yours. You gotta serve that, right? Yes, sir.
It's no problem. But honestly, yo, I mean, I want to cooperate fully, but do I need a lawyer or, or something? Or? I'm, I'm going to let you talk to the detectives, okay? Hold Please. on. Yeah. that you want to talk to us. You wanted to talk to us. What's her name? She's getting interviewed right now. I told you, you can talk to her in a little bit. Okay. Look, you're not under arrest. You're not being detained. You came down here voluntarily, right? Mm -hmm. Because you want to help. Mm -hmm. you got to understand in these cases, we're being just as direct and, you can call it hard, whatever you want to call it. I understand. That's our job. we got to make sure everybody's telling us the truth. And if there's a discrepancy, we gotta figure out what it is. We've got, there's probably 10 teams of two working this right now. Me and him are talking to you. There's two more talking to her. There's a bunch out in the neighborhood. You just gotta understand it is what it is. Oh, no. You know, the best thing you we can got do two, is be here helping us. We got two going out to talk to the biological dad and they're gonna be just as rough or however you wanna word it to him. It's nothing personal against you, yeah. okay? It is what it is. We got to get to the bottom of this and find this child. I want to clear it up. All right. So if you can just be patient, do you need more coffee? Anything else? Uh, I've been just running through it. Okay. Job. All right. Just be patient with us. Hang out. And how long before I could talk to her? I don't know. They're still interviewing her. Um, I'll bring her in here when they're done. Okay. Please do. But I'm not. Y'all can't sit in here and talk for hours. I don't want to talk. I just want to make sure. I just. I don't want to talk about this. I just, just want to check on her. That's fine. I got no issues with that. All right. All right.